my name is Jesus Alvarado. I am a leader here at Harvest Church. I lead uh, the high school boys here at the Surge. I was born and raised in a Christian home. Going to church uh, every day uh, was very normal to me. Basically grew up in my church. Um, I was there day to day, at most of weekdays, at weekends. Uh, so church is all I knew. As you grow up, you go to school, uh, sing the outside world, and you see kids not going to church or living that Christian lifestyle as you do. So you start getting curious of uh, what's outside the church. That was uh, just consuming my mind daily uh, growing up as a teenager. I did have a desire to do something within the church. I uh, went up to my youth pastor and uh, asked him and it uh, kind of blew me off. So that got me angry. So um, to get back at him, I decided to leave the church. Once I left the church, uh, I was in I was in a relationship with Christ, but right when I made that decision, uh, the enemy took a hold of me. Uh, I started uh, dating a girl uh, for a year and a half, and um, when you're unequally yoked with someone, you know, uh, you try your best, even though you know Christ, to try to pull them up, but yet they pull you down. All her and I knew how to do was hurt each other. Um, it was more of a lustful relationship than more than a loving relationship. Unfortunately, I was hurt by that relationship. That ended. Uh, I was searching for something to fill that hole in my heart and uh, decided to go back to church and uh, trying to get filled with the Spirit again. My friends at the church were the ones who led me astray from the church. They were the ones who led me to my first club, drinking, partying, clubbing. Um, and that was my lifestyle. Slowly but surely, the thought of Christ in my heart left my life. God was, to me, was no longer in my life. Uh, I didn't want anything to do with Him. People would come up to me and ask if I was a Christian, uh, and I would deny Him. Every weekend was a uh, party weekend for me, either going to a party, a kickback, or clubs. Uh, I remember specifically one weekend I didn't want to go because if you know anything about clubbing or partying, uh, it takes a toll on you. So I decided to not go out for this weekend, and uh, of course, those friends of mine were very persuasive. So uh, I decided to go either way. And that night, uh, there was something within my spirit that uh, just told me not to go. I didn't want to be there. I wasn't feeling comfortable with anything. Uh, the scenery I was in, um, the club that I went to was uh, very different from any other club that I went to. And 30, 40 minutes in with this new club I'm, I'm at, um, uh, all the lights turn off and the DJ, he says it's shower time. I didn't know what that meant because first of all, it's my first time being here at this club and uh, it's late and um, friends at the time were not around me so I was pretty much by myself. Within the club there was a balcony and um, on the balcony there was shower heads and the showers turned on and these fully naked women were dancing and all this stuff and of course everyone's eyes go up and they're cheering for these women and uh, all that and uh, my mentality at that point, I look around I didn't even want to look up. I just looked around to these people and I asked myself, why can't these people shout and cheer for like that for Christ? I try to brush that thought in my mind. I was like, why are you thinking that way? And I walk off to a corner, I look at my phone, it's 107 in the morning. At that point, um, I knew the Lord spoke to me. I knew the Lord said, son, you know, you had your fun now, it's time to come back home. And I, I embraced those words, I took those words to heart, I downloaded that in my mind and I knew from that point on there, there needed to be a change in my life. I told my friend to take me home, um, he did, uh, it wasn't a, a pleasant ride home, he was angry at me but I knew something needed to change. I, I started surrounding myself with people that love Christ. Although I didn't understand this love, um, I, I wanted to receive it. Uh, I remember one day my youth pastor. Pastor really, he came up to me and asked if I wanted to do a summer internship. And I said out loud yes, but in my mind I was saying no. I didn't want to do anything. Um, I just, I thought coming to church and being a member here was all that it took. But uh, we can't just be members of the church. We got to move uh, towards Christ. We got to do things for His kingdom. And so I grabbed an application. I filled it out. Uh, and the last part, write a brief summary of your testimony. And. Um, I just kept fighting within myself because I couldn't write anything down. I was living my testimony at the time. 
So uh, last minute before I had to turn it in, I, I found myself outside the foyer um, while the, the sermon was going on in the surge. Uh, and I just started writing and I finally just turned it in, not knowing what to expect for this internship. And um, this internship started every morning that we would have to attend. Uh, it had to be a one hour devotion with Christ. And, uh, coming from my lifestyle to spending an hour with Christ, it was very different. Uh, but I found myself on my knees, I found myself at the altars, uh, lifting up my hands in worship, bawling my eyes out, uh, and just feeling His presence was more than enough that I needed. Um, it totally satisfied me way more than the clubs did. Uh, the love of Christ, uh, it's, it takes you further, you know, and, and you don't want to turn back. There's no way that when you experience His presence and His love and His grace upon your life and His favor, there's no way that you would want to go back. Uh, of course, your flesh is always tempting you to, but your spirit is thirsty for God. And I received, uh, I received Christ, and I, I was willing enough to go towards Him, and so I did. After the two-month internship, uh, it ended with camp, and if you know anything about going to camp, it's just in a whole other, a whole other level. And, uh, I did a nine-month internship after that, and now I'm here, uh, you know, ministering to high school boys, uh, discipling people within the church, um, you know, just caring and loving for these people around me because uh, I know I can't reach everyone, but the ones I can reach, I'm planting seeds, um, I'm telling them about Christ, um, and I just, I want to take our church motto to heart, and to, to love God and love people, and uh, I would say that would be my story.